Um, if you want to be able to run completely autonomously and take off and land, um, we will. I'll clear this out and we'll make a new mission. I'll show you how to do that. So here we have home again. Uh, we're going to make another waypoint here, another one here, there. All right. So now we've got this mission where the helicopter will take off. It will fly to 100 feet. What is waypoint 2? What is that one? Yep, it'll take off, fly to 100 feet, and then it'll begin its mission of flying to waypoints 2, 3, and 4. After you get to waypoint 4, uh, it's just going to sit there. It doesn't have any other commands after that. Um, even though it shows this line connecting back to home, it won't fly that last leg unless you give it a command. Um, so you can either create another waypoint directly above where you want it to land, um, but the easiest thing to do is just to create a waypoint with RT return to launch. Um, that way, when you it'll take off, it'll fly waypoint two, three, and four. When it gets to waypoint number four, it'll jump to the next instruction, and the next instruction is return to launch. So it'll fly this last leg. Um, it'll hover at a hundred feet, and then after five seconds hovering, it'll land itself. Um, that RTL behavior is set up in the APM software. You can ch choose those delays. Um, I have it set to the default of hovering for five seconds. That gives you a chance to take over. Um, if you want to land it yourself or go do something else, you don't have to let it um, finish landing. A couple things to keep in mind. The home point is where you arm your quad. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you arm it and fly to the beginning of your mission, uh, it may move your home point. So uh, if you are going to use a different takeoff and landing point, the best thing to do is to uh, set up a mission, um, upload that mission to the autopilot, and then take off manually and fly to your first, fly to your home point and fl and uh, execute the mission from there. Let's see. The other thing, once you're done planning a mission, if you want to save it, you just right click and go to file load save save waypoint file and uh, you know save that as something that means something to you and then um, you can also load the file the same way so same thing um, lo load the waypoint file another thing you want to be mindful of is the terrain um, the google map does a good job of compensating for hills and mountains and stuff like that it doesn't care about houses or fences or trees or any of that stuff so you have to be really mindful about the grade that the helicopter is flying and when you take off you want to make sure you set your default altitude on the takeoff to the same altitude that you're running on the rest of your mission you know if you set this to 20 feet it's gonna take off to 20 feet and then as it flies to this next waypoint it's gonna climb um, there may be something in the way, so it's good to go to take off straight up and then fly your mission at one level. It makes it makes your life a little simpler. Um, pay attention to this grade column. If you see some crazy number over there when you shouldn't have a number, you can be pretty sure that you're commanding the helicopter to go either up or down when you don't want to be. So um, these waypoints here, you're not you're not gaining or losing any altitude. Um, they're flat, so you should should not see any. Um, this grade right here most likely is compensating for the slope. It is uphill here between home and waypoint two, so that's probably where that grade is coming from. So just kind of know the area that you're planning in and do a sanity check on these numbers over here to make sure you're not telling it telling it to do something that it shouldn't because it will follow your instructions to a T and if you tell it to fly into a mountain, it will dutifully fly into a mountain. Um, the other thing you're going to want to do is when you're setting up your flight modes, obviously one of them is going to need to be um, auto, uh, which is the mode that you need to be in in order for the APM to execute this flight plan. I would definitely set up another flight mode as manual and another flight mode as RTL. Um, if you lose your GPS, the APM won't be able to find home. So if for whatever reason the GPS fails, uh, it's going to just stop running its mission and it's going to default to manual mode, so you need to switch modes to manual, bring it home. Um, if, or if you're flying and you see that it's, for whatever reason, uh, going to fly into an obstacle or you want to abort the mission, you can switch to RTL, and if you still have good satellite,
coverage, it will come back to you. Um, this is really important in your first couple of flights to keep it close and to stay on top of any weird behavior you see. Um, this is a pretty advanced feature. It does work very well, but things you know you need things need to be working. Everything else needs to be working right to have a successful mission. The only other thing I wanted to cover was the flight modes. Uh, I have this set up on channel 5, which is the channel you should be using. Um, you can use a three position switch. You definitely need to use a channel with a detent on it. A lot of, I've seen some people using knobs or dials and stuff for that, but there's, you really need something that you can feel and you know you're in the right mode. Um, it's easy to be in the wrong mode. So the way I have it set up now is stabilize, loiter, and RTL. Um, you'll probably want to put this uh, as RTL. The second one is RTL, and then this one will be auto. Um, that way, when your switch is down, it's in stabilize. You can fly as you normally do. This is RTL function if you want it to come back to you, and then this is you're going to be your autonomous mission. Prefetching map tiles. So if you're not going to have internet access in the area that you're flying, you're going to need to prefetch these uh, map segments. And prefetch means that the computer is just, you know, grabbing those tiles off the server and storing them on your computer. So you don't need a live internet connection. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You can just right-click and go to Map Tool, and then you can prefetch the waypoint path. Um, so it'll prefetch everything around the mission that you've planned. So the easiest way to do it is to plan your mission and then prefetch it. Um, you can prefetch larger sections, but the, they're pretty large files, and, and the map data does change somewhat regularly. So it's best to just prefetch the area you're going to be flying in and maybe a little bit extra around it. Um, and then you want to do that each time you fly a mission because there you know, may be fresh map data that you want to get.